right? Uh, you know, we've, with all the missing pieces right now, we struggle to find the right lineup, and I think maybe we found it somewhat tonight. Uh, I think the most encouraging thing is that we, uh, we showed tremendous heart to get back in that game. I mean, we didn't play very well for 30 minutes. And, uh, you know, to get back in it, you know, is a, is a very encouraging thing. Well, you know, they were probably our two best scores last year. And Quinn, Quinn will get it back. I mean, Quinn, Quinn's had seven days of practice in the last six weeks. So he, he's just tired. I mean, his leg, I think his knee's okay, which is the good news. But he just doesn't have his legs under him. I mean, he just doesn't. And uh, I'm not sure in his four years here he's ever asked to come out of a game like he did tonight. You know, he'll get there. I thought he was phenomenal at St. John's. On, I mean, I think it's two days of practice to play the way he did. I mean, that was stunning to me. This is maybe more expected, I think, but uh, he'll get it. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know what's with Brandon's been very good in practice and uh, has not carried over into ball games. It's just, uh, it's a real mystery to us and uh, he'll get it. I think he's pressing a lot right now, trying to do a little bit too much, and, uh, uh, but we'll stick with him and he'll stick with us, I'm sure. 30, 35 well, offensive rebounding is number one. I mean, we just, uh, you know, it's, it's been a problem for three, we, although we out-rebounded St. John's. You know, it was a big reason for the loss at Hampton and certainly a big reason for the loss today. You know, we, we just not don't have guys bringing the ball off the boards for us right now. And uh, uh, I know at halftime, out of 35 points, they had 12 second chance points. And, uh, you know, we just can't have it. And uh, I, I think some of it was effort. I mean, I think they outworked us a little bit there early in the ball game. Uh, I also think, and I, maybe I'll see the tape, but I thought the first five to eight minutes, we played really well. I mean, we were hard to score on. We had great, we missed two wide open layups. We missed two or three or four wide open threes. We make some of those and we've got a different feeling about ourselves. I and mean, we're struggling for confidence right now, obviously. And I think if we made a few of those shots, we might have had a different look in our eyes out there tonight. But uh, uh, that, that <clears throat> offensive lack of production early really hurt us. No, it has to come. I mean, it has to come. We'll we, we, we learn to win with what we have. And, uh, uh, I mean, we, we have to be a better team rebounding unit. We're not going to have one guy get 18 for us. But we have to be a better team in rebounding the ball. We've got to swarm the ball a little bit more. Uh, and and we, we just have to do that. I mean, there's, there's no option. No option. <clears throat> but it seemed to bring a little life to us. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that was the biggest a factor is Marcus Thornton bringing us back in the ball game. Uh, he's got a lot of a lot of talent, and uh, you know he's he's got to learn to play defensively at a at a higher level. But you know, it's it's an indication of the type of kid he is. I mean he I mean he single handedly brought us back in the ball game, but we've been only pretty hard about not getting his hands up when his man catches the ball. And his only comment to me walking down the steps was, "Coach, I got my hands up every night, every, every time tonight." on the defensive end, so, and, uh, so he, he, he's, he's got a chance to be a pretty good player. And I, I think the neat thing about that stretch for him, I don't think he forced shots. Maybe one in there, but you know, he probably should have forced it too. Just, but, uh, you know, he, he, he really did things within the offense, really. He's capable of doing those things. 